All right, guys, we got a new update regarding BitBoy Crypto. He finally came clean and spoke out about everything that is going on. He actually came out on the BitBoy Crypto channel, which was supposed to be the channel that he got fired from, but he's back. <laughs> that, you know, that that was quick. <laughs> that didn't take too long. Um, but here's the situation. So the reason why I didn't report on this is because I like to confirm things uh, before I just report random rumors. So I saw this last night. Um, there was the, there were several post on Twitter, including this one right here, where basically there was a recorded phone call with Ben Armstrong, a.k.a. BitBoy Crypto, and basically it got exposed that he was having an affair with another woman because, you know, BitBoy is married and, like, has a family and all that. And so uh, apparently the rumor is he had an affair with this person right here, uh, whoever this lady is, uh, Cassandra Wolf, you know, COO of uh, Bencoin, which is his coin. Apparently he was having an affair with her. And the recording is right here. I'm not going to play it, but basically there was a recording about it. And it's basically a phone conversation where he admits to it over the phone. That phone call got leaked. Um, I didn't know if it was real or not. When I heard the phone call, I honestly thought it was fake. It didn't really sound like BitBoy. It kind of sounded like an AI. You know, unfortunately, in today's age, you can fake a lot of stuff. There's deep fakes. There's AI voice changes. There's all kind of stuff. So I didn't know for sure. However, we have a new video right here from BitBoy Crypto. And he completely came clean about everything. So we're going to go ahead and watch it, and I'm going to react to it, and here we go. Hey, Bit Squad, It's TJ. We received the following video from Ben today. While it does not address all of the issues that led to Ben's removal, we believe it does shed some light on some of those issues. Ben has asked us to share this video with you now. Hey, guys. Uh, this is not the easiest video that I ever had to make uh, by any stretch of the imagination. I'm like 95% sure that that woman next to him is his wife, but I could be wrong, but I'm like almost certain that that's his wife. Cause I have seen a picture of his wife before. I'm pretty sure that's her, but that was a while ago. And I've got a couple words on a piece of paper. This is all from the heart. I, I got some topics that I want to cover. Um, is that serious? That was not, I guess that's a comic relief we all needed at this moment. You have to laugh until you cry. So we, um, first, I'm sorry. Sorry to the bit squad. I, I know I let people down. I know that. I've let my family down. I've let the bit squad down. I've let everybody down. I failed. I was so strong for so long. I've been at rock bottom before. I know what it feels like. I'm there again. So the word relapse is an interesting word because I, I, I think the way I interpret it and the way other people may have interpreted it. Okay, he's taking a while to get into what he actually wants to talk about here, but I want to give my own commentary here. Uh, this looks really bad for him, and it looks really good for the employees. Right now, we're in a situation where we don't really know who's at fault here. We don't know who's right. We don't know who's wrong. It was a bunch of he said, she said stuff for a long time. And now, based on this apology that we're starting to get and that beginning opening, uh, I guess, monologue from TJ, it really is starting to look like the employees were in the right here. It looks like a lot of what the employees said were true. Now, I don't believe everything, but I think at least 80 percent of what the employees said uh, about BitBoy, at least at this point, seems to be true. And it appears that the employees got into a situation where they had no choice but to let BitBoy go because he had become so unhinged and just so crazy. He was going to completely ruin the company. So. I just got to be honest, guys. At first, I didn't know whose fault it was. It looks like BitBoy is in a complete wrong here, and hopefully he gets the help that he needs and hopefully gets his company back. I mean, again, not a huge fan of the guy. Definitely don't like all the cryptos he shilled and pumped and different things like that. I definitely don't think he's good for the crypto space. That's my honest opinion, but that doesn't mean I want to see the man lose his company. You know what I mean? So, And also, you know, just because he loses the company, does that mean that the actual BitBoy network is going to stop? No, humans are greedy, humans are money hungry, especially people in America. They're probably still going to shill and pump crypto coins. Let's be real here. Okay, let's get back to the video. Or not the same. I haven't done cocaine, haven't done meth, haven't done drugs like that. Didn't relapse. But I've been taking diet pills and I've been taking some stuff. Okay, I just want to say this. He loses a lot of credibility here. Um it's already been found out that you cheated on your wife. You're literally like admitting to it in this video right here. 
Um, you admitted to taking steroids and selling them, I guess, you know? So, yeah, I, I don't know if you're on drugs or not. I know you submitted a drug test, but shout out to uh, My Crypto Journey. I was watching his channel. I don't know anything about drugs. I've never done a drug in my life, just to be frank. Um, my Crypto Journey said that, uh, Rodney, shout out to him. He said that when you take drugs, or not when you take drugs, when you take a drug test, it normally takes longer than 24 hours to get the results back. I didn't know that. So who knows if the drug test is actually like authentic or not, but I don't know who knows, but I'm just saying it, it ain't looking good. You know, right now the employees seem to be mostly in the right. So yeah, I, I kind of believe mostly what the employees are saying. Here we go. Steroids, some stuff that I thought was helping me. It helped me get my body in shape. You guys know I was very out of shape. I, did, I was doing everything I can to try to do the best. Yeah, I hate it when people take shortcuts. Uh, this is just my honest opinion. Um, I come from a football family. We all play football. My brothers are way bigger than me. I'm actually the smallest one in terms of, like, build. Uh, my brothers are both huge and muscular and blah, blah, blah. The bottom line is uh, nobody in my family takes steroids. Oh, my cousins are in great shape, too, and my grandfather, and, yeah, everybody. <laughs> Everybody's in great shape in my family. Um, I hate steroids because I feel like it's taking a shortcut. Um, you can easily build muscle, at least I feel like. I feel like anybody can build muscle and get in shape. If you just show hard work and dedication and you have to take protein, you have to work out, you have to eat right, you have to take protein. There's no need to take steroids, especially when you're not a professional athlete. I already told you guys in the last video, most professional athletes take steroids. I know some of you guys don't believe that, but I'm telling you, it's the truth. A lot of them do. Not everybody, but a lot of them do. Unless you're a professional athlete and you just kind of have to in order to compete, I don't understand why a regular person would take steroids. Steroids have a lot of very negative long-term side effects that can significantly damage your health. That, that's just my rant about that. Okay. And, you know, the, the thing is, is that I guess I was acting crazier than I thought I was. And these things were affecting me more than I thought they were. And ever okay, we need to key in on that. Because now that's him admitting to a lot of what the employee said without directly saying it, which is, which is good to see because now we know what the truth is. Now we know the truth. BitBoy is saying, I'm sorry, but I guess the steroids caused me to act a little bit crazier than I originally realized. So that begs the question, is it true what the employee said that he um, was physically assaulting them, mentally assaulting them, financially, you know, abusing them or whatever it was? That begs the question that the employees were probably right about those allegations. Now, the only thing that comes into question is whether this guy was actually on drugs or not. I don't know, but. Again, the employees seem to be in the right here because BitBoy literally kind of just admitted it what I was saying it just now. Everybody around it could see me, and I just couldn't see it. And obviously, a lot of people know at this point, and if you don't, you're going to know now, I had no fear. I did. And I know that I have a family brand. That's my brand, family. And this is my family. And I had an affair, and it went on for a while. And, you know... The other person is not a bad person. I want to say that. I take full responsibility for all of this. And, um, you know, what, what says family more than staying together when you go through something like this? And, and we're going to stay together. Yeah, well, I, uh, I love him so much. And everyone has, all couples go through hard times. And... Wow, what a strong woman. Can we just talk about how amazing and strong of a woman this is? She literally got cheated on by her husband, and he freaking had an affair with another woman for a while, in his words, and she's still staying. Like, wow. And she looks so calm and, like, reserved and just, I don't know, understanding. Like, wow, he really got him a good one there because most women would not go for that. You cheat on him, uh, they leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, man, that is crazy. Wow. Well, hey, he, he know he got a good one because this man cheated. She's still with him. That's crazy. I believe in redemption and I believe in hope. And um, I fully believe that Ben and I, we've invested too much in our relationship for either one of us to walk away. So we are committed to. You know what? I feel that. I wish more people thought, okay, this is a terrible free screen. Okay, there we go. <laughs> hey, I, honestly, I kind of feel where she's coming from. I feel that. It's like you've been with somebody for so long. You've got an entire family. I'm pretty sure they have kids. I think they do. But either way, you've been with somebody for so long. You feel like you met the love of your life. They cheat on you. 
are you really going to wreck all of that and just end it over somebody cheating? I mean, most people would be yes, but I actually completely understand where she's coming from. If you truly felt like you met the person of your dreams and you feel like they're cheating on you because they're just at a low point in your life, then I, I could kind of see it. I get it. Like, this is this is interesting. Making us a priority and becoming and coming out a lot stronger uh, as a couple and ultimately as a family. Yeah. So we're by the way, I do want to be honest here. Um, BitBoy does seem to be very sincere in this apology, which I think that's the reason why the other employees with BitBoy Crypto Network um, put this video on the main channel. I think they're like, okay, this guy's sincere right here. This is a real apology. He's finally coming clean about a lot of the stuff that we've been saying. So now you guys can see that we're not crazy. We're not trying to get rid of BitBoy. He's just been acting crazy and losing his mind. And we, he left us no choice. Like I said, the employees in the right here. We're going to work through this. It's going to be really hard. It's going to be really hard for my kids. I'm sorry to them. Very sorry I let them down. I just think at the, other, at the end of the day, my perspective of what was going on was probably not accurate. The, the truth may be somewhere in the middle. But the, the fact is, is that I've messed up. And I can't, I can't make an excuse for an affair. I can't make an excuse for it. I absolutely cannot. And, um, you know, I said a lot of things about the people that work with me. Um, and like I said, this is me looking at it from my perspective, from their perspective, things were different. And they didn't want to talk to me about this. People haven't wanted to talk to me about it. They've known for a while. And, and they just, it felt like when I got confronted about it that I was ambushed. That's how it felt. It felt to me I was ambushed. My company. I, I built it in a way that I'm not in total control of it. I'm not. There are things I can do legally. There are things I can do to fight. But at the end of the day, if I want to save BitBoy Crypto, the channel you guys love or you love to hate or the other, if, if I'm going to save it, then I've got to give in and I have to bolt and I have to go and work with these people. What a very adult response. That's a very good way to interpret this situation. I agree. I agree. It, 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 you know what it looks like? It looks like the employees really do have BitBoy Crypto's best interests at heart. It looks like the employees are not actually trying to savage, sabotage him or snake him behind his back or steal his company, make all the money. It looks like they're truly doing what they believe is best for BitBoy. And BitBoy's right. Instead of trying to fight them, because clearly the way you constructed the company, you're not going to get it back. The best thing you can do is just get help, get help, do better, you know, and come back stronger and a better person. And then I'm sure they would welcome him back with open arms if he gets his stuff together. It makes perfect sense. I want to say we have we have a lot of brands. Uh, just just so we have many more, but we always have Vumeo, Bitboy Academy, Crucial Crypto, Hit Network. Uh, we have Frankie Candles. Frank's great. I love Frank. I still love Frank. And there's a lot, there's a lot here. There's a lot to save. And the fact is, nobody probably in history has made more millionaires than this channel made in the last bull run. We're going to do it again. So, yeah. All right, that's ridiculous. You, you got to stop it. <laughs> you got to stop it, bro. Nobody in the history of whatever has made more millionaires than this channel. Come on, man. We had a crazy bull market where every freaking coin went to the moon. Like, are you, you can't possibly take credit for that. I remember the crypto bull run in 2021. I was in it. <laughs> I had a bunch of coins that I bought. Let me see. What did I buy? Cardano. I made a lot of money in that. Ethereum. Uh, uh, Polygon. Uh, Solana. I had all those coins. M majority of the crypto coins went up. Like, if you bought, like, sometime in 2020, like, right before December when the bull market started in crypto... You would have made money. Like, come on, man. He's talking about all we made. You didn't do anything. The, the Federal Reserve, <laughs> the Fed <laughs> made a lot of millionaires, not you. I hate it when people try to take credit for that. Like, dude, everything, that's like the stock market people. That's like the stock market clowns. It's like me, Kevin, and Jeremy LaFave and the people in the stock market. Oh, I made all these people rich. Dude, every stock went up in 2021. I know you guys remember that. Everything went up. Everything. Nothing went down. It all went straight up. <laughs> You didn't do that, sir. The Federal Reserve did. You want to thank somebody? Thank Jerome Powell. Okay. To decide whether you're for us or against us. 
I'd said some things about Justin and TJ and Allison and Nick DiMondi and other people that I was giving you from my perspective. And I don't, I, I don't know. I haven't got to talk to them yet. We're going to sit down and talk, I believe, and try to get all this straightened out. But, you know, all of our brands, all of our brands that we have are amazing. There's no better. All right. We're going to stop watching this video. This video is pretty long. Uh, kudos to him, man. Um, let me go ahead and highlight this comment right here because I think this comment is perfect. This is exactly how I feel. Now, just imagine if our politicians were as honest and owned up to, to their mistakes like this. You are human. What you did is the definition of being real, which is highly respectable. I agree. I agree. It would be great to see our politicians do that, but they won't. <laughs> but anyway, uh, yeah, this was a this is one of the best moments in BitBoy's life to me. He came clean. He admitted to the truth. He stopped with this whole blaming everybody and I didn't do anything wrong and stuff. He just straight up owned up to it. I cheated on my wife. I did some terrible things to my employees. I deserve to be kicked out. Hopefully I can sit with them and work something out and I can come back to the company. Boom. That's how you be a freaking adult and uh, stand up. But anyway, yeah, again, I hope BitBoy gets the help that he needs. Hopefully he comes back stronger. And uh, yeah, that's my reaction to this entire thing. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one.